We are just 45 minutes away from the start of many of those parades, including the Appleton Memorial Day Parade. Yeah, Pauline Lee is on the parade route right now with some new faces this year. Good morning, Pauline. Well, good morning. We are just on the corner of the start of the parade. It's on College Avenue and Appleton Street. As you can see, the road is blocked off. People have already set out chairs getting ready for the parade. A new face that you'll be looking for in the parade is Artists for the Humanities. Tim Mayer, you started the program. It's a great way to help veterans through art. Yes. Uh, we offer uh, what's known as expressive art therapy and mental health counseling to uh, military veterans, their family members and loved ones. Our programs are free of charge. Uh, we operate three community-based programs here in the state of Wisconsin, one in De Pere at St. Norbert Abbey, another in, in La Crosse, and also a third that we just began recently in Milwaukee. We also work in partnership with the uh, Veterans Administration. Uh, I travel for six days out of the month to the Toma VA Medical Center. There I work in the uh, PTSD program, the dual diagnosis program, and the substance abuse program mm -hmm. with the mental health professionals at the Toma VA. Now we want to be clear, this is not just any kind of art class. It's different. Right. It's, it's not art class and it's not arts and crafts. Uh, mm -hmm. um, what this is is really a form of visual storytelling. Uh, we ask the veteran to tell a story on their own terms. We try to create a safe, tranquil, and peaceful environment so people who have experienced trauma during war or they may have experienced trauma uh, stateside. We also work with veterans who have um, uh, suffered military sexual trauma and traumatic brain injury. Um, so we create this environment to enable the veteran to tell a story that, that they may not have been willing to talk about for years. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, um, making a picture accesses a different part of the brain and uh, it can then, we can then begin to bring some of these memories forward Most and talk definitely. about them. And we also, you have a veteran marching in the parade with you uh, who is also part of the program. Daryl, how much has this program kind of helped you? It's been a good experience to uh, use art as therapy and uh, because it gives me something that I can keep, it's permanent. The stuff that I create, and I'm not a, you know, accomplished artist, but mm -hmm. the stuff I struggle to do helps my family and friends uh, understand me and some of the things that uh, other men and women that are coming back now experience uh, when, when they have to uh, be in combat. Mm -hmm. Today is a day to remember those fallen soldiers, but we also have to remember there are still veterans here who still need help, right? That's correct. Uh, and uh, there's, a, there's a saying that all gave some and some gave all, and uh, that's true. Well, thank you so much for sharing, and thank you, Tim. For more information on Artists Through the Humanities, head to our website, fox11online.com. We'll also have a link to the parade route, and don't forget, at the end, there'll be a ceremony at the Riverside Cemetery. Guys. All right, thanks, Pauline.